Hello, on this video I'm going to talk about mathematical expression in C++. So in C++ you can do basically any mathematical operation that you want. So let's start on the beginning. I'm going to declare a variable here, int x, and then I'm going to assign a value to it. I'm going to assign a value 10. Now I can increase the value of 10, so let's say I want to add 5 to the x. So two ways I can do that. So x equals x plus 5. And that will give me 15. Or I can also put a plus here and then 5. And this does exactly the same operation, which is 15. I can also do calculations with more than one variable. So let's say I have variable y here and this variable y equals 5. And if I want to add 10 to 5 or x and y, I can say the x equals x plus y. That will give me 15. Or I can also say the x plus equals y, that does the same thing for me, which is 15. So you can do the operation with literal constants or with variables. So let's keep going here. So let's say I want to do x equals x times y plus 1. So there is an order of operation in which this gets executed. So in this case, the multiplication has a higher precedence than the addition. So therefore, the multiplication takes place first and then the addition. So in this case, it would be 10 times 5, which is 50 plus 1. So this should display 51. So if I run, I get 51 here. Now, C++ allows you to do a lot of operation, allows you to do the multiplication, the division, uh, subtraction, addition, uh, modulus, and a lot of other operations that we're going to take a look pretty soon here. So how do you memorize the sequence in which this operation take precedence? So you can go to the internet and search for it or search for the documentation of C++ or instead of memorizing, you can just use the parentheses to make it a higher precedence. So for example, right here on line 15, if I wanted this operation to take precedence, I would simply put parentheses right here. And if I do that, then this operation takes precedence of, over this operation. So if I run this program, I no longer get 51. I got 60 because now I have y plus 1, which is 6 times 10, 60. So instead of memorizing which sequence takes place first, just use the parentheses because the parentheses will always take precedence. So let's say you did not know that the multiplication takes higher precedence, the addition here, and you want this to go first. Now, the way it is right now, this operation will be first. But if you did not know, if you weren't sure, then put the parentheses here, and this will guarantee that this operation comes first, and then this one here. So if I run this program, it goes back to 51. So anyway, you either memorize the sequence in which this takes precedence or always use the parentheses. And you can make this equation here as complex as you want. So you can do a division here by let's say five times x again. And then because you don't know which operation comes first, you can use the parentheses and then you're going to make sure that this operation takes precedence, then this, 
And if you want this operation to take precedence again, you just put the parentheses here and over here. So that means this will come first, then this will come second, and then this will come third. And for that complex thing, I got 50. Now the whole point here is always make sure that you put a parentheses. Again, you don't have to, but if I were you, I would put the parentheses all the time. All right, so let's take a look on some other functions right here. Let's say you want to do exponential. The exponential should be um, x with the five power. So how do you do that? So in order to do the power, we're going to use the power function. And let's say I have an integer here called result. And if I want to do the x on the five power or on the y power in this case, I just put power of x over y. Now, this is going to be a huge number here. So I'm going to put two. So instead of being a huge number, this is going to just going to be 100. And then it's easier for us to identify this solution and also calculate this by, uh, by hand. And then I'm going to display the result here and run this program. So then I get 100 here. So I'm going to do an easier one. I'm going to do a 2 over the power of 3. So that we know it's 2 times 2 times 2, which it comes to be 8. So hopefully this prints 8. And yes, it prints 8 for us here. And you can also mix this power function with anything else. Let's say you want to mix this with uh, x times y divided by 100. Alright, so I'm going to divide by 1 just so I can have some kind of value here. Remember, this is integer and because it's an integer, any number less than 1 will be considered a 0. So I'm going to divide by 1 so just this can be uh, 3 here because y is 3. So 3 divided by 1 is 3. So I'm going to run this program and then I end up with uh, 14 here. Alright, so the whole point of this video here is that you can do any mathematical calculation. You can do a power. You can also do any of the regular mathematical calculation. But you have to keep in mind that there is a precedence of operation. And if you forget what the precedence of the operation is, Always put parentheses, and whatever you put parentheses will be executed first. Alright, so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.